In this problem, we're asked to graph the function y equals 3 times 2 raised to the x power and state the domain and range. Right away we should notice that the exponent is our variable, x. Thus we're probably going to be graphing an exponential function. Let's start off with some values. I'm going to try x equals negative 2, x equals negative 1, x equals 0, and x equals 1. When we substitute in our first value, x equals negative 2, we get y equal to 3 times 2 raised to the negative 2 power. We know that anything raised to a negative exponent must be transferred to the opposite side of the fraction bar to make it positive. So we're left with 3 over 2 squared simply three-fourths. Our next x value, negative 1, when substituted in into the original equation, gives us y equal to 3 times 2 raised to the negative 1 power. Again, we have a negative exponent, so we bring that to the opposite side of the fraction bar and end up with 3 over 2 raised to the first power. Anything raised to the first power is simply itself, so we have three halves. Our next x-coordinate, 0, gives us y equal to 3 times 2 raised to the 0 power. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1, so we have 3 times 1, or 3. Our final x-coordinate, 1, when substituted in, gives us y equal to 3 times 2 raised to the first power. Again, anything raised to the first power is simply itself. So we have 3 times 2, or 6. Now it's time to graph. We go over to negative 2 and go up to 3 fourths. Our second point, negative 1, has a y value of 3 halves x equals 0 gives us y equal to 3. And our last point, x equals 1, gives us a y value of 6, which I know is off the graph, but we can get a good visual. So in connecting the dots, we see that indeed we have graphed an exponential function. And now it's clear to see that the domain, or our x values, are all real numbers because the graph is extending in the x direction on both sides. The range, or the y values, we see that it's getting very, very close to zero, but we'll never actually touch it. So our range is y greater than zero.